Hello Capricorn, this is what you need to know in love for the week of March 12th, 2022. So I'm going back to the way I had done love readings when I first started doing love readings and we're going to start with a oracle card for your recent past, your present, and then one for your near future. So, sorry about that, that <laughs> scared the heck out of me. Okay, Capricorn, recent past oracle card. Capricorn, recent past. Okay, Capricorn, pre well, present. We're chasing the cards across the table. What do we got here? Okay, so your first one, your recent past, was give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so that's recent past. Your current is attraction. Your, uh, sorry, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And your oracle card for your near future is the next one we'll be getting. Sorry, the cards are all over the place again. <laughs> card for your near future for Capricorn. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Wow. Let's look into this for you, Capricorn. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. What happened in your recent past? What happened in Capricorn's recent past? Oh, ah, there you are. The devil card, that's you. And the fool. Ah, so in your recent past, this tells me that you had a new start with someone. Uh, now I'm, I would guess that this was a relationship that was already uh, around. It wasn't a brand new relationship, but it looks like you had a new start. Let me see. I'm trying to get perspective here. So basically, you had a new start in an old relationship. Nice. So... Not giving up. Good. Now you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Tell us more about that for Capricorn. Clarify for Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> Four of Cups. So this to me says you've been bored. Maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough attention. And this is saying if you want attention... You want to be, you know, somebody to pay attention, be enjoy each thing that you do more. You know, it's so funny. Do you ever watch somebody who's really enjoying what they're doing? It's so nice to watch them. You know, for some strange reason, I think of like the Summer Olympics and you see some of the performers, you know, and they just look so happy to be doing what they're doing. I'm not saying that you're in the, gym, in the Olympics or gymnastics, but... For some reason, that's what came to mind. I'm so sorry. So whatever you're doing, if you're enjoying it, enjoy it fully. Because, you know, do you ever care about someone a lot and you watch them do something they enjoy? It's so nice to watch, isn't it? I think it is. Look at that. Page of Cups. The Page of Cups could be a younger water sign or it could just be a surprise in love. Maybe... What this is talking about with the Four of Cups here is that when you start enjoying what you're doing, you're surprised by how much attention and love you get. Because he does look surprised. It's like, whoa, there's a fish in my cup. <laughs> I'd be surprised too, Capricorn. So chemistry, oh boy. There's a magnetic attraction here. Are you holding yourself back? Eight of Swords. That's... Being able to do something, but not allowing yourself to. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Virgo hermit. So, there's a disconnect here. I'm wondering if I have more than one reading going, because now we're talking about someone who is experiencing great chemistry with someone, but they're holding themselves back. And the hermit card is, talks about looking inside. Almost like saying, why am I attracted to this person?
kind of a why should I, why am I? Sorry, too many cards that was. Uh, I want to clarify this Eight of Swords and the Hermit card for chemistry. Because I'm wondering if it's the same person. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Oh. Are you working too much, Capricorn? The Eight of Pentacles can just be about working a lot. And, I mean, if you love your job and you're dedicated, this to me could say you're spending an awful lot of time working, doing your own thing, the Hermit. Oh, the Tower card, the Queen of Cups, and the Hangman. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what this is telling you, right? If you keep working, you could have a tower moment in the future. Uh, the Queen of Cups could mean with a water sign. And it's so interesting because you have the Page of Cups in the current. And then you have the Queen of Cups in the future. So this would be your Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And the Hangman, needing to look at things from a different point of view. So I would say here that if you are working a lot, you probably should start looking at it from the other person's point of view, that maybe it's not such a good idea, and maybe you should spend more time with them. So it's almost like you're going to end up doing a full circle, because if you have this problem here, you're going to end up with giving yourself, you know, the other person's option is, do they want to give this relationship another chance? You just went through this. Um, I'm wondering if this is something that you've been dealing with a lot lately. Have you been working too much? Have you been working a lot of hours? I, won't, I shouldn't say too much. Have you been working more than your partner would like? Have you been not dedicating enough time to them? That could be it. Wow, the world and the kin of pentacles. So have you been working towards a uh, upgrade? Uh, pay raise or a uh, an improvement in your position? Are you working towards becoming the manager, the owner? That's what this is saying, the supervisor. Because as I'm talking about you working a lot, this to me says you're working towards the goal of becoming the king of pentacles. So if it resonates, let me know. Okay, Capricorn, I'd like that. So this relationship is really, it seems like it's really up to you. What do you want to put more importance in? The relationship or the job? Or maybe you need to just explain it to your partner and see if they'll be okay with you still focusing on work for now. Interesting. Your card from the Keeper of the Light. Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Like I said, I think you just need to speak with your partner and clarify what you're doing and why you're doing. You know, because if you're working on bettering yourself at work and you're with this person, it makes their future better too. So, good luck Capricorn. I hope it all works out. And if you celebrate, happy St. Patrick's Day. Take care. Bye.